Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Gravity Throttle Racing. I am your host, Aaron Tate. This is an exciting adventure as we now begin the second time trial out of three. Let me turn it over to my co-host, Richard Gear. Hey fans, we're very excited you're here. This is super, super exciting. Time trial number two out of three, and you're looking at the next 11 racers out of the 34 who are going to compete now for the pole position. Drama's already unfolding as three of our cars have issues at the first jump, but their teams have worked hard, and you're looking at now the corrections they have made so their cars are ready to race down the mountain. This is where things stand right now. With the first 11 drivers, how will the next do? We're about to find out. And kicking off the second time trial is the number 12 car driven by Bay City Darrell with Bay City Diecast, a 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. And just like every other California driver, Bay City Darrell has no idea how to obey a stop sign, which is perfect for this track. He hits a little hard into the uh, sidewall, but 9.77 is a very fast time. And now onto the runway, screaming down at a 20.62. And a little rough at the end there, but a 27.52 is a great time. Next up we have, from Dubious Diecast, Mr. Dark, driving the number 13 car. A 1992 Lancia Delta Integral. All right, it's not Dark Q, it's not Dark K, it's not French, it's not anything. It's dark and he's fast. Ouch, big hit into the wall. 9.37 is really moving. Nice recovery. Look at him fly down the runway. He's got some good speed. An 18.81, we have not seen an 18.81. Here he continues, he spins it around. 25.61 puts Mr. Dark at the top of the pole. And our next driver is probably the richest one here as he's driving a 1969 Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. It's Numskull from Numskull Racing. Why bring an expensive car to a rallycross tournament? Because if you're rich like Numskull, you can. Here he goes, hits the wall hard, 9.20. Now that is our fastest split. He has lost some momentum. Let's see how he does on the runway. Watch out! Oh no! And something is definitely wrong, and I think, yeah, he shut down the engine. It looks like, from season two, it's Dre the Beer Man. Coming in to give him a free cold one. Well, that's very special. And don't worry, Numskull, you're still in head-to-head -head competition. Next, we have a 1964 Corvette Stingray, the oldest car in the bunch. Driving will be West Coast and from Miniature Car Racing. Let's see if he has better success. And I gotta believe that West pocketed some money in his lifetime too, with a Corvette Stingray out here on this track. Here he goes now, right turn. Hits the wall a little hard, but he comes through. Under 10 seconds, looking good. Sliding around through the S-turns. Weaving a little bit back and forth on the runway, but he's got a 19.12. He is looking fast. Onto the scrambler. Uh-oh. Little, little effort there, but 29.08. That will bring him in probably the middle of the pack. Next, we have the number 27 car, driven by Giorgio from G-Force Racing. He's driving a 1974 Escort RS 1600. I would say if we're gonna give away a trophy for the prettiest car, that one has my vote. And here comes Giorgio. Good slide, 9.69. Boy, he is really raking it in through the course here as he takes off down the runway. He hits terminal speed at 19.19. Once again, a very fast run. These cars are looking great. Here he comes. Oh, at 26.39. That'll put him up near the front. Way to go. And Aaron, now we've reached the halfway point. All right, Richard, tell us about it. We've had some really fast ones, and Numskull, unfortunately, he is in, but he's at the bottom. And we've got six more. You're looking at the number 32 car, a 2008 Subaru Impreza. 
driven by Ned Munson from Tiny Track Cars. All right, Munson man, kick in those afterburners, especially down the runway. Here he goes through the snow, drifting onto the Mesa Butte. That was a nice drift, 10.47, and he's lost some momentum though. Let's see how he picks it up here as he makes his way around the S turn. On to runway three. 22.64, come on, Ned. And now navigating down, oh. Oh, spins it around, but 29.83. And now, introducing the number 34 car, a 2015 Renault McGain Trophy driven by the Lone Star himself from Live Young Diecast. The Live Young crew made quick work removing the front scoop from the Renault. Let's see how Lone Star does. Oh, a little overcooking. Smash and bang through it at 10.34. That's pretty fast. Momentum keeps going as he makes his way underneath the train tracks and onto the runway. 20.34. Very good, very good as he now around the big U. Down the scrambler. Looking to go through it at 27.18. That will put him closer to the top. You're looking at the number 37 car, driven by the Crazy Canuck from Canada, representing the EH team, eh? Let's go. Let's make this perfectly clear. You can't have a rally cross without a Mini Cooper. A 2011 Mini Cooper. Let's go, Crazy Canuck. Boy, he's looking fast. Oh, what a nice drift. 10 seconds flat as he now makes his way over the jump. He is really moving. Onto the runway. Runway three, down he goes. 19.89, he has broken 20 seconds. And now around the big U, onto the scrambler. Looking solid. Through at a 27.32 again. That will put him near the top. Nicely done. And here he is, Bolo Brown, driving the number 40, 1992 Lancia Delta Integral from Miniature Car Racing. And if I remember right, it was Bolo and his beautiful blue Integral that was the first to arrive here at Chavano Mountain Raceway. Right turn. Oh no! Oh! Well, he got a split, but he is DNF. Let's make sure that he is okay. And while the safety team rushes, let's take a look on Instant Replay. Are you tracking? That was quite a flip. Let's see more carefully. Watch. Did the driver get thrown? Oh, you see something through the front windshield. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. We've got Ray the Beer Man pushing the ambulance aside. <laughs> well, Bolo just needed a cold one on the house. You're looking at the number 41 car, a 1992 BMW M3, driven by Bentley Radinsky from the Bent Rod Racing Team. Here's another beautifully detailed rallycross car. Bentley Radinsky making his way out of the snow onto Mesa Butte. Lovely drifting, 10.55 through the first split. Now through the S turns. He applies maximum continuous power and accelerates down the runway. A 20.32, he's looking great. Slingshots around the big U. A little trouble there. Through the scrambler in with a 28.11. And that was a solid run. And the final racer for the day will be Ha Vin Sung from PWC Racing. He's driving a 2005 Toyota Audacious Caldina. Ha Vin Sung and the PWC crew also had problems with their front spoiler. They had it repaired. He is flying down the course now. Whoa! There's another circus act, but he's through the first, split in a 10.86, driving backwards. And now onto the runway. Our final competitor of the day, 21.88, still in reverse. He must like driving in reverse. Look at him go down through the scrambler. 29.16, well done. And it's been a great day of time trials as we show the last Remaining six drivers, 22 have been down the track. Our fastest one is Mr. Dark, but no one has been disqualified. Next we have the third heat coming up on Gravity Throttle Racing. 
Are you tracking? <laughs> <laughs>